Hello everyone, welcome to the Boot Room, Ipswich Town back in action this weekend at Portman Road against Burton Albion. Stuart Watson, um, must win? Are we in that territory? Are we in must win waters? Uh, we said Tuesday night was must win and they didn't win they that. They didn't win that one. But they're still in the promotion mix, so maybe we, we're getting a bit carried away. It's, it's, a, it's about the feel that comes with these games and we weren't the only ones to talk about Tuesday night being must win. Josh Orr, when he was up to do player interview, said that not getting three points is not an option. They didn't get three points. Other teams have got games in hand. Until it's mathematically over, and of course, the fight is still on, but it's starting to feel like it's now or never in terms of putting a run together. Yeah, Cole Skew said as much when, when we spoke to him yesterday. Um, he didn't label it a must-win game, but he said it has to start now. There's no good having these conversations with six or seven games to go. There are 13 left, and it really does need to start now for a switch. Right, you are Paul Lambert, you're not. But if you were, what is your team? If I was Paul Lambert, I'd go, be going pretty much straight back to the 11 players that beat Accrington 4-1 in January. So I'd keep Thomas Hody in goal. I'd then, you've got Gwil Edwards back from suspension, go with him. Hopefully, fingers crossed, Luke Garbutt's back. He goes left back. Central defenders of Wilson, Chambers and Wolfenden. Almost forgot. Um, central midfield two, Downs and Hughes. Judge behind Jackson and Norwood. That's where I'd be going. What about you? Um, Similar-ish. I'm sticking with the wing-backs because I don't think you've really got the options. You haven't got the wingers at your disposal to do yeah. anything different. It all depends whether Luke Garbutt is fit or not. and I don't think you can underestimate the importance he has to the team in terms of the, the set pieces as much as anything yeah. else. So I really hope he's fit. But holy in goal, if Garbutt's fit, it's the same back three. Garbutt left wing-back. Edwards back from suspension, right wing back. Midfield is slightly different to yours. I'm going to go with Downs and Nolan. I thought Nolan did alright up at Sunderland. And I think um, Cole Scoos does fine when he's in, in the team. But I just think at the moment, when they're, we're needing goals, we're needing wins, I just think Nolan's the more offensive option. And I think Emma Hughes has been a bit up and down. I'd go with Nolan for that reason. Jackson and Norwood up front. I know where this is going. And I'm going to play Will Keane in the hole, so you can get three strikers in there. We need goals. Keane doesn't ever play right up top as a number nine. For me, he's almost a number ten. So I'd get him in there. Judge hasn't. Judge again has been sort of very up and down. So get all three strikers in there and, and play Will Keane as the proper link-up man. Both got James Norwood in our team. Paul Lambert discussed very publicly about his uh, lack of confidence at the moment. A few chances have gone begging of late. What are your thoughts on uh, James going into this one? I think you have to play him. Uh, we both put him in our team. We clearly both think that. I think you have to play him because he's a, he's a striker that he gets on the end of chances. He makes chances for himself. I'd argue that the one-on-one -on -one that he missed at Wimbledon on Tuesday night, none of the other strikers would have got to the, the, the stage of being able to have the shot at the end of it. He has twice as many chances on average per game as Caden Jackson and three times as many per game as Will Keane. He does need to start taking them though, but I think the best way to get him back into form, which Ipswich definitely need to happen if they're going to have a chance of, of the playoffs or anything more than that this season, is to play him. So 100% play him. What are you thinking about heading into this one? The crowd and the atmosphere in general. People are pretty fed up about the the recent run to go from top of the table to outside the playoffs in the space of what little over a fortnight. People are worried, people are edgy. We saw up at Sunderland how that can transmit to the pitch. I thought first half Sunderland were feeling that weight of expectation and it's which sadly couldn't get the goal to take advantage of that. I hope that the home crowd are a help rather than a hindrance against Burton. Um, the players are feeling the pressure at the moment. You could see that in midweek. Um, let's hope they are the proverbial 12th man rather than the 10th the man, if you like, if that even makes sense. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. 
prediction time. Really, it should be the man behind the camera that's coming on to do this, Ross Halls, who has uh, been in red hot form on our Kings of Anglia podcast of late. Ross, what are you saying? 2 1 win. 2 1 win. I too will go for a 2 1 <laughs> win. A sensible option. You followed Nostradamus, Rostradamus, if you will. A bit more pessimistic. I think they'll win. I think it'll be a bit more edgy. I think there's only one goal in this game, and I think Ipswich are going to get it. Just squeak over the line. 